So I want to show you a new rifle case from Tactical To Go. You guys may remember a while back we did a video, I think it was called like Ultimate Air 15 Storage or something like that. Uh, that was the original Tactical To Go case that uh, they're using a Plano case and a foam insert that they built. Uh, and they have a single and a double there. So you may remember that. And one of our big complaints with that case was that really, uh, in my opinion, it, it could be a little bit tougher. Uh, I know guys have actually traveled and flown with those cases, but I personally wouldn't fly with the Plano case. Uh, also, I would have liked something that was a little bit longer. So they've answered both of those requests, and instead of just offering the single and the double, they now have what they call a long double, and they're using a case from SKB Cases. This guy's waterproof, and this thing is tough. This is like your Pelican grade case. So I would totally fly with this. Um, it's just much, much better built than the Plano. Um, opening it up here to give you guys an idea of what's actually in it and kind of comparing it over here to the uh, single. Look at this guy in here. You get a little bit of idea on the differences in the, the lengths. So on the bottom we have the Tactical To Go single. Uh, that's the original. I want to say that's like 150. I'll roll the price in here so you can see that. The double is, I want to say, 190 something like that. Whereas the SKB, the, the tough built guy here, as you can imagine, is a bit more pricey uh, considering you're at that, that higher grade quality case. This guy goes for 430 so 430 bucks. So yes, it is, um, it is an expensive case, but if you need something that's tough as nails, that you can travel with, beat up, you can fly with it, you know, not have to worry about those um, TSA guys throwing the thing around and beating it up. Um, this is the case to go with. So you'll see here the double has the two long slots for rifles and it has two slots for pistols, which I don't have filled. Four pistol bag slots, a miscellaneous slot there. Uh, kind of a another miscellaneous slot that goes all the way to the bottom. So you could potentially fit maybe even some type of ammo can in here. And then we have, what, two, four, six, eight, eight AR-15 style magazine uh, holders there. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, these will not fit the um, AR-10 LR-308s. Speaking of, um, on the bottom here, I have a 22 inch 6.5 Creedmoor upper receiver on my LR-308 uh, AR-10 lower, whatever you want to call it. So this is an Aero 22 inch upper receiver uh, with an UBR stock. You'll see we're kind of pressing a little bit up in there, but uh, it fits surprisingly. So this thing could fit some pretty long rifles. So two thumbs up there. So again, comparing it to this guy, you're just getting a lot more length and you're getting really just uh, the durability aspect. So the one thing I did like about the, the single and the double original is that they come with an ammo can and they are designed to fit this thing. Whereas this new one isn't. I tried to fit this in this slot here, but this slot is a little bit too small. So you can probably find a smaller ammo can that would work for you, but it will not fit that one and it does not come with an ammo can. So uh, moving on to the exterior features here, it has a lid that is on hinges. So it's not gonna come off like the the original lid over there so it just swings open on hinges you lock this down um, these are all released by this little latch right here so they're not going to come up unless you um, pull up that latch so all the way around here again this thing's tough as nails these aren't coming off unless you actually pull that lever oh, there's locks there's what let's see here one two three four five six locks uh, it has a handle on the bottom, so you can hold it up right and carry it. It has a handle on this side and a handle on this side as well. So three handles, uh, two sets of double wheels. The uh, or the Plano that they're using has some uh, some wheels here as well, but they're not as they're not quite as nice. So you can pick this guy up and just you know roll it around, set it up. But wheels are on that side. Um, and she does roll pretty nice, much nicer than the Plano. It might be the extra weight, but it could be the wheels as well. So anyway, if you guys are interested, swing on over there 
and check them out. Um, I get a, been getting a lot of questions on this guy after I uh, started posting some pics of it on Instagram. This is as far as that door swivels back on the hinge, by the way. But um, yeah, a lot of questions on this guy. Everybody's kind of been wanting an upgrade for what they originally came out with. And I think this is, this is it. So again, kind of pricey, but definitely worth it. I'll put, um, I'll put links to this guy in the description below. So one last thing I forgot to mention here is the lengths on these rifle inserts on both the new case and the old case. So if you uh, want to see the specs on all this stuff, you can check out the website. Again, I'll put that down below. But these lengths are on the new case, the long double are 40 inches. And I can tell you right now, this uh, 22 inch upper is a bit longer than 40 inches. So one good thing is that this uh, these this uh, foam insert, while being really good quality, um, they don't degrade at all from what I've seen. They are a little bit flexible. So you can see I'm past that mark a little bit. They do flex a little bit if you need to jam one in there. So the, uh, the old cases are around 33 inches. Again, it's really gonna vary. So this one is a little bit past 33 inches. This is a 16 inch gun with a Rainier Arms XTC 2.0 and a Magpul SLK stock. So it's really gonna vary, but you should be able to fit most 16 inch guns in here. Uh, but depending on the stock option uh, and the muzzle device option, those are gonna kind of uh, kind of dictate that. So another correction here real quick is that um, these, these mag slots will actually fit a 308 mag, but I will note they're really snug. So unless you wanna stretch these out, uh, and use these permanently for 308 mags. You may want to stay away from that, but you can fit one in there if you need to. You can see they're kind of deforming a little bit from this big guy in here compared to that guy right there. So just one note there.